Hello YouTube, welcome to episode 9 of Storyteller Plays, Night in the Woods. This is actually the last recording of this session. I said I was going to take a quick break before episode 8, or 9, but it turns out I've got like about a little under an hour, so that should be enough time to record. I'm going to bed. Now I want to give this game, like everything it deserves, and my inability to read is not that, but I'm having too much fun to give up just because I can't read. Literacy is never, uh, or literacy and the lack thereof has never slowed anybody down. More hallucinatory dream sections. Look at that big old fish. If it had a constellation, it would probably just be called Big Snake, I mean Big Fish. I am very tired. But if I get to pick the order of the uh, order I hang out with my buddies, I think I'm going to hang out with Angus this episode because uh, I've not hung out with him really in any previous episodes. He helped me remove all the porn from my laptop, which was very great of him. I should probably note he helped May remove all the porn from her laptop. I don't personally have any. That I know of. That would be a weird thing to not know of. Not going to lie, I enjoy finding the violinist first, even though I've yet to do that on purpose. Unless it's, it's just like the order you find them in, regardless of which plinth you find first. Watch me not be able to find any, though. Look at that big old fish. Oh, here we go. I accidentally found the saxophone player. I don't suppose there would be anything else in this direction. No, probably just a jump to my death. Or by which I mean the uh, power lines back down there. Gotta find the other two musicians. Woo! Okay, I'm back to where I started. Uh, I don't know what that, if that means that the other two are somewhere more central. Let's just continue looking around. That was quite the fall. Here's another one. Now I'm going to assume that the fourth one has got to be around here this way somewhere. Okay, let's go as low as it'll let me and see if uh, they're over there. Yep, here they are. Good call on my part. Anyway, Selma went off. I know it was the last thing I said in the last episode, but it's been about 25 minutes, and I'm kind of still in shock. I just wish that I could read. How do I get back over there? I guess I can go this way. Maybe hop along these smokestacks. At least the music's good. Getting lost kind of sucks, though. I should also probably close that big window. The glare on my lap... Oh, not laptop. Haha. <laughs> the glare on my desktop... The monitor. There we go. I can words is kind of making it difficult to play. Not to mention I can kind of see myself, and nobody wants that. I certainly don't. Okay, around here, where again? There it is. What kind of animal am I going to meet this time? Oh, it's a crane! It also ate my fish buddy, so that sucks. Man, these dreams are trippy. At least they're less violent than that one with the uh, light bulbs. I smashed every light bulb. That I could find, anyway. Come on, May, time to wake up. So in the last episode, we patched things up with our mother, failed guitar hero. Us away message. Planets are to be pitied, as they cannot know how big and cool they are. Dr. Kathy Conklin, National Astronomy Agency. Dude, my mouth tastes weird this morning. Like a tire. I've been working on uh, trying to wash it out with whatever is in the cooler. 
Last night inspired me. For longest night, I'm getting... Uh, er, for longest night, I'm getting you a library card. You're welcome. Thank you. I can't imagine May is going to use it, but I appreciate it. Can you just get somebody else a library card? When I got mine, I had to have an ID present. Which is silly. Hey, bird. Sorry I'm always rude to you. Good. May is growing as a person. Let's go see if our mother's over here. She is. Morning, sunshine. You feeling okay? You look a little limp. Yeah, uh, weird dreams. Weird night. You say weird a lot. Just being honest. You taking headache meds? They're in the bathroom cabinet. Yeah, I am. They're kind of working, kind of not. Well, maybe you need some more sleep. I mean, more than the ten hours or so you already get. You've always seen... You've always been my sleepy girl. Oof. What did you do last night? We went to the library with Bay. That sounds nice. It was. Weird? Interesting. Okay, gotta go. Be safe, hon. Take it easy. You really looked a little tired. Getting out makes me feel better. Me too. Maybe it's a good day to get out in the fresh air. I'll let you know. Bye, sweetie. Let's talk to her again. Nice and sunny today. I hate rainy days. I love rainy days. I don't know what she's on about. Just wanna never leave bed. I love them. Nice and gray. Spelled gray wrong, but I'll, I won't fault you for it. Sun's too bright sometimes. Need more clouds. All right, I'm out. Bye, sweetie. I can probably talk to her again, but let's go on an adventure. We have many people we need to talk to. Are they still doing construction over here? No. What is this way, I wonder? The woods. Farming. I could farm. If I stay in town long enough, I could see getting into the farm life. I don't know. I like games like Story of Seasons. Stardew Valley wasn't bad. I just... I don't know if farming is something I could genuinely do. Like, I enjoy growing things. Like, that's not the problem. But I wouldn't be able to live out in the middle of nowhere. I am, to the deepest of my heart, a city slicker. What's up, Selma? Hey, Selmers. You were great last night. Aw, oh, thanks. Having you to bounce ideas off helped. I'm good for that. Want to hear a new poem? Uh, yes. Why would I not? This is a short one. Because I'm tired. Me too. That So that works out. Ahem. I got mad one time. It was online. I've been mad on the internet before, too. <laughs> it's crazy making. What were you doing at the library? I got... I go to the library. No, but seriously. Huh. Where on earth does B live? I play a mean uh, banjo claw hammer. Really? I play bass. We should play some together sometime. You know... Uh, you know Long Black Veil? Vale? Yep. You know Tom Dooley? Yep. My dad likes that stuff. Uh, you know Willer Garden? Nope. Eh. This guy is an interesting character. Ah, uh, my buddy's not up there. Although, usually Selma would say of something if he was. Hello, hello, how's roof life? Hey, little girl. I'm a legal adult. Oh, sorry. Who are you? Liz, I used to live here. Where? The building right here, before you were born. Why did you move away? Went to school. Wandered off, I guess. Do you like it better where you live now? It's nice. Possum Springs is nice, too. I think it's alright. It's alright. Yeah, pretty alright. When I was a girl, about your... I'm 20. Height. I used to, <laughs> I used to lie awake at night, worried that statue would come to life and climb in my window. Oh, jeez, that's spooky. You never want someone hanging around outside your window. Not magical evil statues, at least. 
Yeah, nothing evil or magic should get that close. I live in the attic. No one can get to my window. That's good. You, uh, not even vampires or warlocks or skeleton men. I'm glad we had this talk. Me too. See ya. Wonder if the squirrels ever steal undies. What would they want with them? I mean, I don't doubt they do, possibly for nesting, but like... Well, I guess I just answered my own question. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. She's probably not still going to be there. I need to keep my eyes open for that. <gasps> Look! The raccoon! She had a baby! I'll have to see if she comes by again. She's pushing a stroller. I knew she was pregnant and I wasn't just being rude. I was I was being rude, but not just being rude. Methinks I spy a tunnel shark. Scary monster in the dark. Holy crap. I didn't really see it. Please don't listen. Dude, your poetry's good. Embrace it. It is all about tunnel fish, though. Uh, Miss Rose is not here. Somebody's humming from the sounds of it. Mm, possibly uh, the fisherman dude. Or this owl. Whoa, hide down there. Ahoy there, May. Haha, -ha. is that Mr. Silva? Sil Salvi? I can't read. What are you doing in a boat? In the tunnel. In the late afternoon. What are you doing home uh, from school? You answer first. I guess I kind of dropped out. Oh dear, May. Yeah, uh, sorry. Why are you apologizing to me? I don't know. So, what are you even doing down here? It's my side hustle. Uh, Salvi's Salvage. What's that? I'm a junk man, May. Are you not mowing lawns anymore? Oh no, I'm still doing the landscaping. But I'm also purveyor, I'm a purveyor of fine goods for the discerning antique enthusiast. Okay, side hustle, yeah. You wanna come along? Boat ride back into the tunnel, into the back of, into the tunnel? Gotta keep a short trip today, but might be fun. Uh, yeah, why not? Uh, this probably isn't smart. It's pretty safe. I just need a second pair of hands. Usually I take one of the kids over there. Hey teens! I'm going on this boat now. Just saying, like, if anyone should ask. I got into this boat with Mr. Salvi here. Okay, thanks. What was... Okay, let's go. She's covering her bases, in case you turn out to be an axe murderer. Ooh. Where were you... Where were you on the night of June 15th, May? And lots of folks from somewhere else drive past, between Fort Lucene and Willow Grove. And they like going to antique shops out here. I think that... Er, I think they think it's exclusive or something. And that's the side hustle. Wow. Do they know it's garbage? It's not garbage. Sorry. Uh, where are we coming up now? On one now, you'll see. I can read. Actually, I can't. That was the problem in the last episode. What was the point of letting me control that lamp? This is garbage. It's an island full of garbage. Your garbage is my priceless antique. Once it's cleaned up a bit. Look around, find something. Well, there's a... What is that snowshoe on the floor? Is this safe to be walking on? Oh, yeah. Years of sediment and rock and junk. Haha. <laughs> you called it junk, too. Well, I found a horseshoe. Not a horseshoe. What am I talking about? Snowshoe. A sled. Really bad boat. Maybe you, like, sleep in it? Tiny garbage hammock? Should I take the garbage bed? No, snowshoes I can't imagine are rare. This looks like a hacksaw. Huh, a big axe. I don't want... Do I want the big garbage axe? Um, yes. It's big and axy. Mm -hmm. I found an axe. Find anything good? Killer garbage axe. Oh, nice. Looks like an old fire axe from somewhere. Axe murder garbage axe. Yes, you could conceivably murder someone with this. Have to sharpen it first. Oh, I'll sharpen it. Uh, planning on murdering someone? I keep my options open. Oh dear. Tell me your secrets. And somehow, he'd run over his own foot. No. With the mower. Ah! Uh, yeah, he's got a limp now. But he still comes to work. Jeez. Gotta work. Oof. Okay, so remember how I said I needed a second pair of hands? Oh yeah, what was that about? So there's a little panel back where you are. Uh, gonna need you to use it and move this light here. 
I've been doing that, and we are- wait, what? Uh, we got bats down here. So? I don't like bats. And bats- but bats like bugs. And bugs like light. So you're gonna shine that light all around, um, and get them to scatter. Looking for bugs. They mostly go away for a while, then when they scatter. Oh, okay. Now get ready, we're coming up on the place. It looks like a cluster of them. Okay, I got it. Here we go, above me. Bats? Wow. Did most of them leave? I think so. Sure, we get a lot of them. <laughs> uh, sure, we're a lot of them. Ugh, I hate them. But bats are cute. They totally are. They are not. Can I take the bat home? <laughs> Ain't no bat getting on my boat. Uh, sooner swim back than have a goddamn bat on my boat. Okay, okay, okay. No bats. No bats. All right, we're coming up on another island. Garbage. Hoo ho. I can read. No, I can't. You gonna look around? No, I'm gonna hang out in the boat. Of course I'm going to look around. Hehehe. <laughs> you sarcastic like your dad. Do you still talk to my dad? Oh yeah, I get my meats from him once a, while, once a week. Last fall, us and some of the boys from the factory days went up to Stutter's old hunting ground. You get anything? Er, guess got a six-point buck. Oh, nice. All right, let's go. We got a schedule to keep. I don't know what a six-point buck means. What is this? Oh my god. It's a coconut monkey. Like the one Grandad bought back from Hawaii. Do I want this coconut friend? I'll leave it for now. It's kind of stinky and soft. Holy shit. Dracula teeth. These are so rad I could totally be a Dracula. Of all the false teeth in the world, Dracula teeth are the best. Should I take these excellent Dracula teeth? Uh... Now, this is disgusting. But yeah, why not? I'll take them. Why do Draculas say blah? I'm gonna put these in and find out. Don't! Should probably clean them first. Yes, thank you, May. Can I take this too, or do I... Want... Instead of these Dracula teeth? No, I gotta pick. Goodbye, stinky, soft coconut monkey. Okay, I'm ready to head off. Find anything good? Dracula teeth. Oh, wow. I remember these. They still make them. No, there's a market that... Uh, now there's a market that never goes away. I can't read. People will always want to be Draculas. I don't want to be a vampire. No choice. I'm gonna put these in. Oh, God, please don't. They're disgusting. Gonna bite you. All right, let's keep going. Blah. And that's how I saved Longest Night. Ha! Oh, wow. Did you ever tell your kids? Wait, what? No, it'd spoil the magic. Did they ever notice uh, your neck scar? If they did ever know, they didn't say nothing. Uh, did the cops ever catch the guy? Oh no, he's still out there. But he ain't coming back anytime soon. Wow, great story. Any bats around? All right, we're coming up on another bat nest. Do bats have nests? Whatever. Get the light ready and shine it up there and get rid of them. Aye, aye, sir. Here they come. Oh gosh, that's a lot of bats. I like bats, though. They're like sky puppies. Wow. Did most of them leave? I think so. I got them good. Whew. Thanks, kid. I'm 20. Ha ha. Well, at my age, that's plenty kid enough. Rude. Come up, coming up on another island. How many of these are down here? Oh, I ain't counted. Seems to find new ones all the time. And lose old ones. Spooky. We're pretty far back in now. It's always a bit spooky. Whoa, old trolley car down here. How is it floating in the trash? Yeah, we're getting close to where the flood really hit hardest. I can't imagine this place still up and running. It was quite something. I had a sense of going somewhere. Yeah. Way back when, they got these new trolley cars. 
They were designed by some company overseas. Big and fancy, like France or something. They are pretty. Yeah, they still got their charms. You gonna look around? Sure. What is there to find? Oh, huh. Wonder how old this is. It's pretty soggy. Uh, what sport even is this? It's a sports mystery. The worst kind of mystery. It's pretty tough. Uh, pretty though. Do I want this thing? What is it? It's gross and I don't care about sports anymore. Oh, nice. Football. Our official, our official religion around here. I could totally wear this. It's functional. I could totally wear this in the winter in case I slip on the ice. I could wear this if I was in a fight. Could probably stop a bullet even. I don't know. It smells inside, though. Do I want this thing? I thought you just said you didn't care about sports. Let's grab whatever this useless piece of whatever is. Because at least it's got mystery. Oh, it's probably just a flag. Okay, let's go. Find anything good? Check this out. Oh, wow, that's an old hockey pennant. That's what I was thinking of. How old? Like, really old? Uh, 1970s, 80s? Oh, that's like, medium old. We had a hockey team back then? Sure did. Ice Arena used to be out by where Ham Panther is now. Jeez, so much stuff used to be here. Lots still here, but yeah, lots gone. Any more bats to get rid of? Nah, they don't come back this far to sleep. They fly around a good bit back there, though. Or back here, unless they, you clear them off before they can get here. Where even are they? Uh, almost to the far platform. Oh, wow. Is that where we're going? Well, you get rid of most of the bats back there. So maybe we can make one last stop at the big one. The big one? I think God, er, uh, I thank God I wasn't down here when the flood hit. The river jumped, right? Yeah, flood was bad enough, river just up and moved. Uh, had something to do with the reservoir, too, I forget. I guess it was a while ago. Weird to think that rivers can move. Oh, they're always moving, kid. 20 years old. They're just usually moving in one direction. And no one's really prepared for when it stops going, er, doing what it's always been doing. Hmm. Alright, here we are. The big one. Oh, it's a good thing I was so proficient in scaring away those bats. Wow. This looks like something I dreamed, or something. It's familiar some ways. Uh, back then, they thought the trolley would stay on the track. Come a big flood, but nah, they went right along with the water. Bobbing up and down, crashing into big piles like this. Jeez. Can't fix something like this. What are you gonna do? Uh, dam up the river and dig this whole thing out? Nobody got that money. Nobody's got that time. This is like visiting some place beyond the grave. Like where you go when you die. Some folks did die down here. Oh yeah. Are you gonna look around? Have to say, not much back this far usually. Mostly stuff washes in from side channels. Side canals? I think it's channels. Get caught up back from where you come from. Yeah, I think I'll still look around. I can't read. Yeah, there is not a lot over here. What is this? Wonder what that used to lock up. Really old lock. Pretty neat key. Someone bought this to keep something safe. Or secret. Do I want to take this? I'll leave it for now. But that does sound pretty cool. Never mind, I found a horn. Wow. Wonder if it still works. Should probably clean all of the mud out of it first. Do I want to take this? Yes. It's really pretty. Uh, it should have someone to appreciate it. Goodbye, ornate lock and key. Although maybe the key will come in handy. It wouldn't still be in the lock otherwise. But I'm not here for a good uh, long time. I'm here for a good time. Horn. Looks like a pack horn, maybe. I'm going to clean it out. Maybe play it. Or at least make it make some noise. Good plan. It's real pretty. Shame to leave it down here. You rescued it. I'm a hero. I'll call the papers. Do 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 do. Here we are. Wow. Did we go full circle? 
ellipsis. No, this is just a different part of the tunnel. So that's it, the other mural. It's so... Yeah. Yeah. Basically, the only thing back here that survived the flood. I just think it's nice that it's not gone. Yeah, I guess. Forgotten, maybe, but not gone. Well, not forgotten yet. I wonder if it's like five in 500 years, some archaeologists will find it and wonder what it meant. Sometimes I think in 50 years, no one will know what it meant. Places can't control how they're remembered. They just hang out and then fall apart. You okay, May? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm just going to look for a minute. <laughs> Take your time. Wow, that was a long detour, but it was fun. It doesn't look like the kids were here in the first place, May, so if you were being abducted, nothing would have come out of it. Like, no time passed at all. Oh, wow, I was going to hang out with, um, Angus this episode. I'm still going to do that. For sure. But let's go say hi to uh, everybody up at the church real quick. And then probably just call the episode. This one's a tiny bit on the shorter end, or at least in comparison to the other ones. But that uh, detour into the sewers took quite a bit. <clears throat> well, I guess they're not sewers. It's an old uh, tramway that just kind of flooded. Let's go say hello to... Dang it, I already forgot his name. Getting kind of cold, huh? Yeah, nip in the air at night. I like fall when it gets cold. Me too, really pretty as well. I used to cry at fall trees when I was a kid. Why? Because they were so pretty. Hmm. I did that when my daughter was born. You have a daughter? Yep. Where is she? Sorry. It's fine. I feel so learned. Well, hopefully his daughter is still alive. Uh, dead people seems to be a pretty common theme in this. Which reminds me, where is Miss Rosa? And what is the name of that homeless dude? Sorry, he prefers to go by Drifter. Hey, you free? Maybe. Uh, want to go on a quick adventure? Don't you have a job? Pastor's gone. I'm going to skip out. Ah, oh, yeah. You know what? Hell yeah, let's go. Let's skip work. Only I'm, skip only I'm skipping work, hon. Oh, hush. I'm an accessory to the crime. Also not a crime, sweetie. I don't think I've ever been up here. We used to come here all the time. Did we? No, we as in my friends and I when we were young, your age. Oh, okay. I'm not used to you using any other wees. Believe it or not, I've had several wees. Huh. I was going to hang out with Angus, but, you know, this is nice. This is nice. There we go. Uh, used to be a lot more trees around up here. They got cut down when they put in the towers. I don't remember that. You know, all kinds of things happened before you were born. What? Some minor parts of history took place, yes. So what is this place? Uh, Jenny's Field. Ever heard of it? No, I don't think. Back in the 30s, there was this woman and her daughter walking here, and the woman's daughter is in front of her. And then she just gone, like disappeared. What happened? Turns out there was a sinkhole that opened up when a pillar collapsed in the mines in the hill. Jeez. 
Yep, no one could see it because of the grass. Her name was Jenny. This is Jenny's field. They never found her. Just... Wisp. Gone. So, wait, why are we here? What, are you not for not up for a little risk-taking? They're going to call this Maysfield soon. Ah, what's wrong? I, I thought it was a sinkhole thing. Hmm, how about that? Ick. Okay, what is that? For some reason, before Unified pulled out, they brought this old lime furnace up on, from the, on the mountain. Why? Who knows? Uh, Unified did a lot of things. Looks like it's been here forever. It's just sunk into the ground a lot. Like Jenny, but slower. We used to climb up there. Want to try? Ah, uh, oh, sweetie. I had you and also a lot of birthdays and donuts since then. And not much climbing. So, uh, good thing this chimney is sealed up here. Uh, yes, good thing. What can you see up there? It's been a while. Uh, Possum Springs in most of the valley. The highway. Uh, let's go with Possum Springs. What does it look like? A quilt? Uh, like someone dumped out a bunch of blocks. Let's go with a quilt. Well, it's a cozy valley. I remember I couldn't tell if being up there made everything feel bigger or smaller. It's a weird feeling. Yeah, I know that one. I used to have a dream when I was your age, where I was in a big parking lot out by the tracks, and I'd start running, but there was always more parking lot. Hmm. What do you think it meant? I don't know. Feels weird to tell what your dreams mean. Why? You're my mom. Fair. Why did we come up here? Well, I was hoping you'd fall into a sinkhole, obviously. I knew it. Well, that didn't work out. Drat. Guess I'll just have to keep you. I couldn't, I couldn't see your expression was when you said that. Do you, do you need to? No. Well, see you at home. Hey! Jenny's Field. Achievement unlocked. Well, oh hey look, you can see Jenny down there. Okay, so this was a really cute episode. I did not get to hang out with Angus, and unfortunately won't be able to do that until next week. When in episode 10. So like the video if you enjoyed, thanks for making it this far. Go ahead and subscribe, it means a lot, and farewell. What is that artifacting?